covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Google has released the code for their internally developed artificial intelligence, Tapas. It can take a natural language question such as what's the name of the latest iPhone and fetch the answer from a relational database or spreadsheet and it's now open source. The search giant's researchers detailed the AI on Thursday. Tapas is based on BERT, a natural language processing technique that Google uses in its search engine. A sizable portion of the world's information is relational, that is to say, organized into rows and columns. Navigating from these rows and columns historically required either manually sif uh, shift sifting through a spreadsheet or writing SQL queries. Natural language processing makes the task considerably easier for users which is why the technology has been extensively adopted by Google and other players in the analytics market. The search giant says that the Tapas beats or matches the three top open source algorithms for parsing relational data. They train the AI on 6.2 million tables from the English version of Wikipedia and then set it to work on a trio of academic data sets. Benchmark tests that showed that the neural network provides accurate, comparable answers as the rival algorithms across all three data sets. The type of language processing Google has implemented into Tapas allows the AI to consider not only the question posed by users and the data they wish to query, but also the structure of the relational tables in which the data is stored. Tapas can go beyond just fetching data and also perform basic calculations. For example, if a business user evaluating sales data asks for the average revenue across their company's three most popular products, the AI would reply with the calculated answer, not just the data set. Tapas is available now on the Google Research GitHub repository.